Hello lads and welcome back to another review on the channel. In today's review we'll be trying out Prime Bitrobenio, 5 foot 6 player, medium low work rates, right footed, 3 star skill moves with a 5 star weak foot. The card looks very good, 94 pace, 90 shooting, 80 passing, 92 dribbling and 68 physical. Now starting off the pace, perfect, um, I haven't decided to give him any chemistyle style to fix that. Um, the shooting, I've given him the finish chem style just to boost up the shot power a little bit more. The volleys and penalties you could do as well and the long shots are fine, there's no problem with the long shots. The passing is very good as well, 89 vision, 85 short pass, 62 long pass is on the low side but for a striker, they don't really need long passing so the passing is fine to be honest. And just to give him the little bit of the dribbling boost, making him have 99 agility, 94 balance and 99 dribbling so he should feel as responsive as possible, even with that height as well so he should be turning very very well. And even the stamina and jumping as well, for guard his height, the jumping might not make a difference but I think he should do the job and heading actually is good as well so if he does get a chance, he should put some headers away. Now the traits, he does have finisher trait and technical dribbler, um, which is decent. Outside foot trait would be decent as well, but he doesn't have that and we're going to have to work with it. So yeah, this does look like a very good card. 800,000 coins. Um, we're going to see if he is worth that price tag. We will be playing him in one position. That will be the striker, his natural position. So yeah, let's jump into the games and see how well Butrigano plays. This is the lineup for the home team. Edwin van der Sar begins between the first. Oh, Torino short. Be like dribbling. Yeah, green timed. Oh my days. First finish, first goal. Two minutes in, that's a lovely finish shot. I think that finish shot trait might be showing through. Because the loop had on it, the curve, and he puts away a lovely finish shot. Three minutes in. Let's cross into Butra, see what happens. Butra, can you finish that as well? Two goals in four minutes for Butra Grenio. What a dream start for him. So Butrigan again. No way. No way can get hat trick. First time. Butrigan absolutely ripping it up. And I think the guy's gone. He's gone as well. He doesn't want the smoke. Butrigan on flames so far. You know, test out the 5 star weak foot. Get the angle. Oh, that's, that's a bit cheesy. What a goal. Non timed as well. Got a lot of power on that. Good finish. That's it. Use that arm dribbling again. Feels so quick. Look, look at the shifts. Nepal's from there. Butrigan. Oh, that well, was a close effort. Yeah, but the dribbling so far on Butrigino was feeling so responsive. Three in the space. Up. Easy pass to Forland. Should be the assist as well. That's a good thing for Forland. Butrigino coming short and linking up. Simple pass at the end. Alright, this is hit from here. Butrigino steps up. This would be a crazy goal if it goes in. Butrigino free kick. Not bad. Not bad if at all. Just need a little bit more power. And that's it. Right, so we go finish from there, but we're going to, no way, no way, no way has he got that from in from there. That's a stupid angle. Yeah, but this butcher again was saucy so far. Right foot, left foot, finesse shot, power shot. We got no finesse shot, butcher again with the finesse shot. Look at that, boys, that's what I'm saying. The finesse shot trait is so important and he catches it sweet every single time. And that's free and free for butcher again from finesse shots. Don't be lucky there, a little bit of cheese. See four land there. It's a lovely, lo lovely drone pass. Can we end up getting the goal? Not quite. Oh my days, what happened there? What on earth happened there? <laughs> That's a glitch. Okay, I didn't, I didn't mean to do a goodie there as well. But yeah, that was a glitch. No idea what happened there. Butchukino, good defensive work. Good. Go from Butchukino coming deep. That's a poor pass, man. I went on one full pass. A full power on that. And it didn't make it over the Muya. I said Butchukino in space. Which we're in the space should be easy finish from there and it gets saved. Well, I don't know what's going on, but uh, inside the box he's finishing is a little bit dodgy. And I don't know why. Which we're in, that's good strength, that's good strength. And he gets fouled at the end. Which one goes wide, that's good movement from him. Back post to Fulan. Can he get the goal? Back to Butchogrino. Oh, that worked really well. Just quite, I couldn't get the finish at the end of it. But Butrigino, he's attacking, yeah, he's very good. That's one thing I've noticed so far. So I'm sure. That's a user acceleration, as well as you can see. The acceleration is ridiculous. We see Forlan. That's a good pass as well. Should be a simple assist. World keeper. And get the goal. That's good. I see Butrigino here. 
Inside the box again. Can we get finally can we get a goal? No, we can't. I'm struggling to score inside the box with Butrigano. I'm not sure why. Butrigano, the attacking here is ridiculous. Can we burn past too late? We can. Butrigano, green again, five star week four. Can't break the goal. And the Maldino and Riva. But the most impressive thing about this Butrigano card is his attacking AI. It's like you're doing a player lock. He's always moving right, left, making sure he's in space. And when he's in space, he just breaks through, as you can see there. And we end up getting the goal with Ronaldinho. With a player lock there. Flick over his head. Oh my days, we've done him, we've done him. Ronaldinho has beautiful one, Butrigano. Come on, let's get the goal. No, I ruined it. Ah, I ruined it. That would have been a crazy goal. That's it, done him, done him. Done him, that's it. Now we can use the pace of Butrigano, come on. Spin, spin him again. Ah, oh, Butrigano will cancel there. Five star week four, and that's a good goal. But anyways, as you can see, I went to do that hood hill, but he didn't do it in this some slow turn. I'm struggling playing him because of the freestyle skill moves, but I'm not saying he's a bad card. That's a lovely finish, and we get the rage quit. Let's go. That's a better man. Butrigano, look at the type positioning. That's what I'm talking about, boys. The type positioning is beautiful. Good pass as well, Rondino. Can't quite get the goal. But you can see there, he just he changed position so much. He goes right, goes left, all his finding space. Good, I'm going to finish off. First of week four. Ah, no quite time. See, four lands, good pass. That's a very good pass by uh, Butra. Should be good as well. Four land. What a finish. That's good from Butra. Comes short, plays four land through. One nil. That's it, hit him step over. Use that pace. No one should catch him. No one's catching him. Look at Butrigano go. Bang it from there. Oh, oh wow. Four that went in. Green time from there. He hit with a lot of power. Just goes wide. But the pace is stupid good from Butrigano. The height, the acceleration. With him being small, he's rapid. Butrigano again. Making the space. Go for the finish shot. Green timed. That's it. That's what you go to do with Butrigano. What a goal. Come on. He's on his back on his feet. Near post from there. Still got it, Butrigano. Drag back from there, tight angle, green time, that's a good finish. This card is very good now, boys. I'm getting used to him. Um, of course, I'm not used to the freestyle skills yet, but when you used to when you get used to dribbling with him and using that tight dribbling, he's very, very good. And that's a rage quit. Let's go. So, lads, there's the end of the review. I'm going to playing five games with Butrigano, scoring nine goals and coming out with three assists. Very, very good card. Um, at first, I was struggling to use him because I'm a skiller. I like my players that have 4 star skill moves and 5 star skill moves but um, yeah it took me a while to get used to him, it took me about 2 games to get used to him of course I couldn't do heel to heel, I couldn't do lack of ketter, I couldn't do them type of skills but once you do get used to that dribbling and step overs and pace he is electric being 5 foot 6, 95 acceleration and I did use Fernando Torres as well, who had 95 acceleration but of course him being 6 foot 1 or whatever it is and Butchigano being 5 foot 6 he feels much much quicker off the mark the step over and that's it, bang, he's gone. There's no catching him. The shooting, the finesse shots were ridiculous. I'll tell you boys that right now, if you have Butrigano, utilize that finesse shot. The finesse shot trait, 100% you can feel it. Outside the box, inside the box. He was catching it sweet so many times. And that's what I had to do. Make him drop deep, use the R1 dribbling, make sure you find that finesse shot and it goes in most of the time. Now the passing, the passing was hit and miss at times. Um, there were players running through. I tried and hit the ball over the top and Butrigano just you couldn't find them. That 6-2 long pass was very poor. But that's not that's not the butcher kind of strength. We know that I saw that start from the beginning and I knew it wasn't going to be a strength. But yeah, I just wanted to touch on it. Don't try to do too many long passes with him because it's not gonna work. Keep it short, the short pass is good and the vision is good. So keep it short and just let other players with better playmaking do the playmaking. Now dribbling as expected, 99 agility, 94 balance, 99 dribbling. Them them stats were insane. R1 dribbling, L1 dribbling, with his height, with his body type. Five foot six, insane. Weaving in and out of players, didn't feel stiff whatsoever. And you gotta bear in mind as well, the gameplay wasn't the best. So if the, when the gameplay is pinging, he's gonna feel ridiculously good. So yeah, nothing bad to say about the dribbling. The composure was good. He was finishing most of his dinner, and very good as well. Now the strength and aggression, that was a poor part of his game. He was getting bodied a lot, and we expected that as well. Five foot six player, he's not the strongest. You don't really expect him to feel as strong as he did. He did. Uh, hold his own sometimes, bounced off a few players, but not 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 consistently enough to be surprising. But it's a very very good card. 800k easy worth it for me. In my opinion, I'll say no. But yeah, if you do prefer players that have free skill moves or you don't do many skills, I'll go for this butcher Reno card. Um, five star week for insane. When he catches it right, green time, they're flying most of the time. 
so yeah, a very, very good card. Once I got used to him, he was very, very good. Running in behind, using that pace, that dribbling, that shooting, and that financial trait is an absolute killer. So yeah, boys, if you did enjoy, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.